What's up you guys? My name is Eric Smells and thank you once again for joining me here today. And in today's video, I kind of want to do an updated pickup video for one of my prior videos that I did on the, uh, yep, you guessed it, on the Oakley Fleshes. And I got those right here. And this is actually a, a vintage 2000s pair. And in that prior video, I did compare them to the, uh, the Brain Dead collab that they re-released these with. And um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the prior video, but whenever they do future releases, it's going to be under this Oakley Factory Team label. Um, but that is going to be a collaboration um, effort between the two camps. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you guys this new pickup because if you did remember in that prior video, I did um, the pair that I got in my hands was actually uh, not my size, so I was able to sell those. So use the money in that to purchase this pair. And this is the Team Flesh um, and the sandal in the asphalt colorway. So, and yeah, look, see, even that has the brain dead kind of, even though there's no. You know, brain dead logo anywhere on this box, just the Oakley. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Got them in the. Didn't come with any extra laces, unfortunately. So, sorry to bum you guys out. This is the uh, the sandal, super fucking dope in that asphalt colorway. So you got some suede upper. You got some mesh underlays here. And is this see through? No, it's not. Okay, that's cool. There's another layer under here so and then this like neoprene i think is what it's called if you guys know the correct material please let me know so we got the suede we got the mesh and we got the neoprene all around here got the back tab oakley oh it says flesh that's cool got similar rump and look at that crazy ass alien soul Again, guys, imagine if you were like out in the woods or something and you saw this footprint, you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I got an alien after me, cuz. And you got the in the factory logo. And I got this in a size seven and a half, which was another thing. The, the uh, vintage pair that I have is a size eight. They were a little bit on the big side, so I decided to size down in these. Um, which is typically in sneakers, I will go to a seven and a half anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and try these on. I'm going to let you guys know about the sizing, um, how they fit. And at the end, I'm going to do some outfits and how I would personally style these. So yeah, without further ado, that's the Oakley, uh, team or factory team flesh sandals. Wow. What a mouthful. So yeah, guys, let's get right into it. Yeah, I wanted to kick off the review of this video just with a comparison because like I mentioned before, my prior video I did, I was able to compare these vintage pairs with the brand new ones, but they were totally different sizing. So I wasn't able to actually compare the two, but this is going to be a little bit more, um, I would say easier to because this is a seven and a half and this is a size eight. So they definitely are going to be pretty similar in sizing. Wait, what the fuck? Yo, these are like, hold on. These are like identical. That is really weird. I don't know if the camera, yeah. So I'm like trying to not even, there you go. Yeah, look at that. That is literally, so the, the gray, the newer pair is a seven and a half and the vintage pair is a size eight. So that's really strange. So it looks like if you, have a vintage pair and you were looking up to pick up a newer pair i would actually recommend that you size down half a size at least um and that should be identical to what you wore in the original pair but yeah that is really weird uh yep so i have a feeling they're gonna they're gonna fit pretty similar um so they were pretty snug and i feel like with these kind of things you do want them snug because over time this is gonna like wear out the more you open it and close it so it will get looser with time so for these, I recommend you sizing down half a size at least, um, or go true to size if you don't if you really don't mind. It's not too big. Um, when I put these on, I have maybe like a you know half of a, a finger's length up here, so it was really comfortable for me. Um, and, and over time, it's gonna get looser again, so I, I totally don't mind that. But um, yeah, with these, the only thing that I was gonna say is the weight. Like these are so fucking chunky, and these I can literally like like air dude these are gonna these are so fucking light like i'm gonna have so much fun with these over the summer 
But yeah, these are fucking chunky. So, so yeah, guys, that was the comparison of the two uh, in terms of sizing quality. I'm going to say, I mean, these have just stood the test of time. So these obviously are going to be you know, pretty high quality. So um, I might do an updated video later down the road of these guys and let you know my thoughts on them and how they wear out and stuff like that. But yeah, so for the next portion, I kind of want to do some fits as always, how I would personally wear these and let me know your guys' thoughts on them. Do you fuck with them? Do you hate them? Are they ugly? Um, I personally can't get enough of them. I love these like <laughs> unorthodox kind of shoes. Um, you know, I've done, we've had that classic kind of shoe silhouette for so long. So anytime something comes in and mixes it up, I'm always down for. So yeah, guys, um, let's get right into the fits. So for the first fit, I got the Oakley flesh sandals on feet. I do got some ankle socks on. Um, I didn't want to go too high or too low. I just feel like no shows would have been really weird on this shoe, but I got some Nike ACG shorts that I always wear for my bottoms. And on my tops, I do have a uh, just a vintage like faded t-shirt to layer that right under my uh, favorite archive undercover piece. This is an undercover anorak from like the 90s. Um, super fucking dope. But more of a technical outfit, you know, something that you might be able to wear outdoors. Um, or just when you're, you know, killing it in the city. Um, and it's not too not too cold, you know, it's a little bit of a warmer, especially in this weather, uh, you know, Washington State weather. Um, and to top it off, this is really cool. It's my favorite new addition to my collection, but it's a Craig Green bucket hat. And it's super fucking dope. I think it was from like fall, winter 22, but he did a bunch of like packable jackets, packable pants that you can um, really like stash away. So this kind of uh, doubled as a bag, but yeah, you can bust it out and just throw it on as a hat. So definitely someone I should probably highlight on the channel more, but yeah, let me know what you think. So for the second fit, I do have the Oakley flesh sandals on feet. Uh, for my bottoms, I do have some double knees that were made in collaboration with Fugazi and Unsound Rags. Shout out to California boys. Um, for my top, I do have an Ethereal Studios uh, Berserk, like Neo Vintage tee. Um, definitely, it wasn't, you know, not definitely not actual vintage. It's like a newer piece, but um, topped off with a vintage Detroit jacket. So yeah, guys, definitely more of a casual fit compared to that first outfit. I feel like this is something you can wear in all the scenarios that I just explained earlier. So out in the city, you know, you're out in your town. Maybe you're just doing some quick errands. Um, yeah, closer to And once again, that was the uh, Oakley Factory Team Flesh Sandals in that asphalt colorway. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the uh, styling portion of this video. As always, that is my favorite to do for you guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the um, close-up shots of these guys. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think of them? Do you think they're ugly? Is this something you can personally wear? I would personally, it's really hard. I've only seen kind of like Gorp Core, kind of like outdoorsy fits with these. I haven't really seen too many like super casual fits with them. So uh, if you guys got any ideas of how to style this, uh, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, guys, until next time, peace.